Hello dear students and welcome back. I hope you are pretty good. Once again, I am uh, going to take a, a lesson on uh, Dittis narration. Here you will learn uh, some uh, rules uh, of a statement and interrogative sentence to uh, convert uh, 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 direct speech uh, to indirect speech. I will give you a lot of exercises uh, and, ex uh, and examples through this video for you to practice. Let's get started. So let's start it. Narration, statement sentences, and interrogative sentences. If you want, I will purchase with you. Uh, this is a uh, conditional uh, reported uh, speech uh, Saint Ishika to her uncle. Here you can see you already learnt uh, 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 before this uh, shall turn into should, will turn into would, can turn into could, may turn into uh, might. So you uh, refers here her uncle and that's why you have to use be and want turn into wanted. So what uh, your answer will be? Ishika told her uncle if he wanted and I would be she and will uh, turn into would. She would play chess with you turn into uh, you turn into him. So I'm saying the answer again for you. Ishika told her uncle that if he wanted uh, she she will play chess with him so you can match the answer Ishika told her uncle that if he wanted she could play chess with him let's see another I could give you some money and uh, this is the uh, reported speech uh, say Jack to Jill uh, you can see that uh, in the option box should, would, could, might and ought to. You know that should, would, could, might it never be changed in indirect space. It remain unchanged when you see should, could, would, could, might in reported space is never be changed. So um, here I, I refers here G, uh, I refers here Jack, so uh, uh, for Jack you have to use the pronoun he and could remain unchanged. So he could give you turn into uh, her. So your answer uh, Jack told Jill that he could give her some money. So you can match your answer if you guess it before me. Jack told Jill that he could give her some money. I must write a letter. I must write a letter is a reported speech uh, said Noah to David. Noah and David is a biblical name taken from the Bible and um, I refers here David, no sorry, uh, I refers here Noah and Noah is a female so you have to write he, your husband and you know that must turn into, must turn into had to. So uh, you uh, definitely you can uh, uh, see the answer, Noah told David that he had to write a letter. So it's easy uh, uh, for uh, uh, giving the answer. I'm saying it for you again. Noah told David he had to write a letter. Let's see the answer. Noah told David that he had to write a letter. Father said to his daughter, you must respect the teachers. So you Obviously, rep indicates here his daughter, and that's why you have to write uh, she. For you, you have to write she, and must uh, must remain must. 
because you must respect the teacher this is uh, an obligation sent uh, obligative uh, type of sentence because uh, you have to follow in our culture you must respect the teacher you must obey your teachers that is the obligations so when you use uh, must as an obligation must remains must so uh, their answer will be father told his daughter that she must respect the teachers so i i just remind you uh, and i'm just telling you just you to remember must remain must when must is used as an obligation you can see the answer now father told his daughter that she must respect the teachers we must leave the house if the rent is increased so this is also a conditional sentence but a conditional use for the future so we turn into they and must turn into uh, would have to because must is is used here for future condition so what your answer will be uh, nazrul told man nazrul told the man that they would have to leave the house if the rent is turned into was was increased so i'm repeating the answer for you nazrul told the man that they would have to leave the house if the rent was increased let's check the answer nazrul told the man that they would have to leave the house if the rent was increased that's it you here you're going to learn an integrative sentence and how an integrative sentence convert uh, from direct to indirect speech so for uh, for turning in integrative sentence in indirect speech you have to use use a question report verb asked or inquire of uh, generally we don't use inquire inquire of but inquire of sometimes can be used so remember that here reported verb will be asked instead of said use an interrogative adverb or interrogative adjective so i'm telling you uh, what is an interrogative adverb uh, there are generally we can see two types of uh, interrogative sentences in our uh, uh, daily uses um, an interrogative sentence i'm giving you an example uh, where do you live so where do you live well refers to interrogative adverb because uh, uh, with the help of where you ju we just making uh, we just make this that that sentence an interrogative uh, sentence so where do you live where indicates an interrogative adverb and i'm giving you an example another example of uh, interrogative adjective which pen do uh, you want which pen do you want which indicates here an uh, uh, interrogative adjective because which is written before noun pen so that's why which pen do you want which is an interrogative adjective so let's uh, you can see this another was use a connector if or whether use a connector if or whether where you can when you can use if or whether where you don't find interrogative adverb or interrogative adjective the time you can use a connector if or whether so have a close look uh, and i i think you uh, you need to pick them this rules will you go to market said sami to samira um, here will you go to market is the reported into the interrogative sentence you can follow the structure subject asks object if or whether and reported subject 
and verb and if there are any words that's I just giving here rest of the words you can include so subject here refers Samir and Samir asked object Samira so Samir asked Samira if she and verb will be would she would and the rest of the words go to market so you can uh, i'm just saying the answer for you samira asked sami uh, sorry sami asked samira if she would go to market so you can match the answer if you guess it before samir asked samira if she would go to market where do you live where do you live is a reported interrogative sentence said the police to the man here you can follow the structure you is the refers here the man and that's why we have written here he for the man and you can follow the structure subject plus ask plus object and interrogative adverb and reported subject plus verb and rest of the words if there are so subject refers here the policeman asked object refers here the man the subject the policeman asks the man where and the reporter subject he and the verb is lived so you can uh, I'm saying the answer for you the policeman asks the man where he lived now you can see the answer the policeman asks the man where he lived I'm also uh, given uh, an another example uh, from interrogative sentence which pen do you want it's an reported interrogative sentence which pen do you want as you know that you is refers here uh, Elsa so Elsa is a female that's why you have to uh, write she for Elsa so you can follow the structure subject plus ask plus object plus interrogative executive plus noun plus subject plus verb so subject subject is indicates here Emily asked an object indicates here Elsa an interrogative adjective which which because it's written before the uh, pen so interrogative adjective is which and now pen and subject will be she because it's a reported subject and verb will be wanted so uh, you can see uh, obviously you can see the answer Emily asked Elsa which pen which pen she wanted I'm saying the answer for you again Emily asked Elsa which pen she wanted that's it you can see the answer now Emily asked Elsa which pen she wanted dear students uh, that is all for today. Uh, I believe you'll practice and you surely get benefited through these exercises. So, no more words. Stay safe. Thank you. That's all for today.